Hello and welcome to From On-Prem to the Cloud session. My name is Sergey and I will be presenter during the next 45 minutes. Uh, what this session is all about. In this session, I'm going to show you how uh, you may get access to the Cloud AD, um, Microsoft Cloud AD, when you have some sort of access, some level of access on-premises. So that's going to be the path from on-prem AD to the Cloud AD. Um, and this session will be based on live demo, so you will not see a lot of slides here. Most of the time, I'm going to show you how to do it um, live. Uh, before we, I start to show you this, let me say a few words about myself. My name is Sergey. once again. Um, I am a pen tester, instructor, conference speaker. So I speak at different conferences, like conferences from uh, my, at Microsoft Headquarter, Global Azure Security B-Sites, Wild West Hack and Fast here and Adversary Village uh, and so on. Uh, and if you want to contact me um, after this session, you want to ask me something or you want to see what other sessions I have and you want to watch them, uh, here's the link. Here's the link and usually I announce my, uh, other, my other talks. I have a number of certifications and awards. So you can see some of them listed, but I hope that's not your goal to listen about me the whole session. And so let me jump to agenda and let's start our content. Uh, all right, so what we're we going to cover here in this session, I'm going to show you first um, uh, what is Azure AD Connect and how and how it may be compromised. So like this, that's like a classic way to integrate on-prem AD with, to the cloud AD, Azure AD Connect, and how it may be compromised. What what may be the bad configuration? Then I'm going to show you a new offering from Microsoft, which is Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. Um, and we can we will see how that may be compromised as well. Then we will bypass uh, MFA and authentication prompt uh, and start to enumerate the cloud. But for enumeration, I must, I must also bypass MZ or MSI. Uh, and finally, we're going to quickly talk uh, what should we do to mitigate those problems. All right, as I mentioned before, um, this session will be based on live demos. So I'm going to switch to demo and let's get started. So first, I want to show you what uh, Azure AD Connect is, just in case if you if you haven't worked with that before. So Azure AD Connect, that's the, that's this, that, that's the tool from Microsoft, free tool, of course. Uh, and this tool may be used to synchronize your on-premise AD uh, to the cloud AD. Um, and when you can configure this tool, one of the things that you must do, you must connect to your on-prem AD here. So um, like you will type uh, enterprise admin username and password and um, AD Connect will create an account that will be used for synchronization. So let me show you this because I already have, I already have that configured. If I go to the main controller and go to users, so here is an account, msol underscore something something. And that just a, just, just a regular user, if I go to, 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 to member of, just, just the main user. So nothing special with this account. Uh, but but uh, that account may have, um, that account may have number of permissions, extra permissions if you enable some features. One of the, feature, uh, one of the features that, which is very popular called password hash sync. If you turn this feature on, account for synchronization, like this ADDS connector account, um, will have extra permission. It will have permission to replicate Active Directory. So those permissions, replicate directory changes and replicate directory changes all. Now, let me, let me show you where they are. Uh, so in my AD Connect, I enabled password hash sync. And by the way, it, it, it's very recommended option. So most most companies, they enable password hash sync. So passwords, uh, password hash, of course, synchronized from on-prem to the cloud as well. Uh, we use that for resiliency. Um, and, and so that, that that's enabled for many companies. If I go to properties of my domain, go to security and find this MSRL. Uh, so here are um, those permissions, they are delegated. So uh, that's just just a normal, typical configuration of AD Connect. Now, where uh, we may have the problem, the problem is if someone can own this account, 
an attacker, if, if he or she owns the account, will have those permissions. That, and those permissions are quite privileged, are quite high. So let me show you how I can own this account first uh, and then what I can do with those privileges. Uh, this account, we don't know the password of this account, um, so we must find the password first. Uh, let me jump back to AD Connect. And let me show you how we can get that password. Uh, let me cancel that. So uh, to get the password, uh, this password is stored in uh, AD Connect database. If I open this table, um, management agent, and uh, let me remove those columns I don't need. And let me just keep a few of them and run that. Uh, now, if I look for credentials, look at this. So it says uh, username is here, msil underscore something something, and password also here, but password is encrypted. Not that simple, so you will not be able to just take password in the plain text. All right, but there's another way. How can we do, how can we get password? We, we must de we must decrypt that. To decrypt password, uh, what we what we must do, uh, we must become the main. Uh, no, sorry, not the main. We must become local administrator on this AD Connect server. So AD Connect administrator can decrypt this password. Decryption process is quite tedious if you do it manually, but uh, luckily we have we have people, we have good researchers, and they and they give us tools. And one of the tool called AD Connect Dump. Um, so if you just run AD Connect Dump, look at this. I have a password from uh, uh, the SQL database and decrypted. Uh, so, and by the way, on the, um, so you may find this tool on GitHub and you may also find the article from author of this tool and he explains how to do all of this manually if you want to do it manually. Uh, but manual process will take a while, so I will not be able to fit, fit into my, my session. All right, let me copy this password. Um, and now what I can do, so now I have, now I own user. And now what I can do with this uh, credentials, let me open first command prompt on a different machine. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to um, run as different user. Uh, let's type msil user and click OK. Uh, it will take some time before command prompt will appear. So let me first check who am I here. I'm a I'm user JDA. Let's take a look if I have permissions to enumerate a C drive on the main controller. Uh, no, access is denied. So I'm, I'm just a regular, maybe I'm, I'm local admin, but I'm not the administrator on the main controller. So I don't have the main admin, admin permissions. All right, let's try something else. Let's let's type who am I here. And this user, this command prompt from MS oil user. Let's try to enumerate the main controller as well. Access denied again. So no luck. But we don't really need that at this moment because um, now we have permission to replicate directory changes. Um, with this permission, I can I can synchronize, I can replicate information and, and and password hashes of any user in the in the in the company in, the, in this network in this domain. So let me go to see tools. Oh, Mimikatz, and let me run a very well known tool called Mimikatz. Uh, now. In Mimikatz, what I want to do, I want to, I want to say DC, uh, uh, LSA dump, DC sync, and I want to synchronize information about trainer. And trainer, he is, he or she, is the main administrator. So let's see that. Now I can see hash, password hash of this user. Now let's go to, let's open Mimikatz again. Uh, let's run Mimikatz here. And let's say privilege debug. And I want to, I will run command, which is very well known, called pass the hash. I will copy this NTLM and paste here. And now I have another command prompt. Let's try to drdc. Fingers crossed. Yay! Now I have access to the main controller. That means uh, I became the main administrator. So um, when you when we have when we have uh, AD Connect. When we have AD Connect, uh, 
and password hash sync is enabled, which is quite common. Uh, what 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 may happen? Uh, this account for uh, for HDS account will have quite a lot of quite a lot of permissions, and so you must be very careful uh, who it, uh, when you delegate permissions who is who is AD Connect administrator. So please be careful with AD Connect administrators. Don't provide these permissions to uh, like middle level administrators because they can become the main admins quite easily. All right, so that's 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 the first thing. Uh, that that's the classic configuration. AD Connect when we install the whole server inside of our network, um, and so we have it. Uh, we, we can compromise like this. There's a num. Uh, there's there's a, there are some other ways how can we achieve this result. Um, in case if you Google a lot, you will find some other ways. If you have like a pass pass through authentication and some other ways to authenticate and AD Connect. Um, how they may also be compromised. So I'm not going to show you all of those all, all of all of those ways to compromise AD Connect. Uh, just check this one and make sure you, you, only the main administrators can can manage AD Connect. All right. So uh, we discussed the AD Connect AD Connect uh, how it may be used to uh, synchronize accounts and the more important how we can compromise that and what misconfigurations what should you not do um, let's take a look on, the, on another option which is azure ad cloud sync azure ad connect cloud sync cloud sync that's when we don't have the full uh, engine on premises so we don't install the full server uh, the actual engine will be in the cloud uh, but on prem we just going to install agent so let, let's, let's take a look here um, uh, here lightweight agent installation mode um, so we just install agent on premises um, so that this configuration it doesn't support all the features of ad connect so nowadays not that popular uh, but i guess because that's, that's the new offering from microsoft it will have more and more features later on so what if you decide to switch to cloud sync um how it will look like let me just go to um to, to, to the cloud and if i go to azure ad so here we can uh, in azure active directory we can find azure ad connect blade and and under that there's a manage AD, azure ad cloud sync click here and so what I must do first, I must download Agent and install to one of the servers. Uh, if I switch to that server, look at this. So I have a server where I have this AD Connect installed. And what, how can you find this AD Connect presence if you go to Services, um, find Microsoft AD Connect provision Agent. So this Agent is installed. Uh, and so what you can do here, by the way, don't worry about degradation. That that's, It's because my demo environment was turned off for a long time. Uh, so if I go to configuration, here I, in the cloud, I can uh, configure uh, my sync. Also, by the way, I can synchronize password hashes as well. And if we synchronize password hashes, so we may uh, face the same issue that uh, the passwords may be uh, replicated by the account but the problem here with with this cloud sync i'm not not, not a problem that's a, that like a di di uh, like 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 a difference between uh ad connect and cloud sync in case of cloud sync we don't have server we don't have uh, like a, a user account we don't don't have sql database where where this account is stored so that's a bit different let's take a look um how it will be will be configured in case of ad connect cloud sync if I click on the, on the agent, I can find that the agent is work on behalf of a group managed service account or GMSA. And so um, in case of GMSA, there is no password which is stored locally. Uh, so that's an account in, uh, in Active Directory, on-prem Active Directory. And some sort of servers may retrieve password of this account from AD. Let me show you this. If I go to the main controller, here is a, a group managed service account. Uh, nothing here. If I go to properties, so if you go to attribute editor, you may find here 
like uh, information about password, password ID, uh, password interval, because this password will be changed by the Sirius account. Uh, all right, so now I can see that uh, this account is not typical. Um, but how we can uh, take this account over? Um, let me go back to my server. I'm going to, 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 to open PowerShell. Let me type one command. Let me just type this. And now it says uh, that this, um, this account, um, there's a principle that allowed to retrieve managed pa manage password. And this principle is uh, agent. So the name of this principle is agent. Let's take a look who uh, host name, not who am I host name. And I can see the agent, that's the current server. So if I'm an administrator on this server, which is agent server, um, I can achieve literally the same. So let me show you a few ways how can we do it. So first way, I can open command prompt, but let me do it as an administrator because I must be a local administrator. Uh, I'm gonna go to C tools and here I'm going to run PS exec and in my PS exec, I'm going to open CMD as this uh, agent account. I don't need to know any passwords because this specific server may retrieve this password from id um all right now if i open mimikatz um, mimikatz and run this lsa um lsa dump dc sync yes I, I was able to replicate information about hashes all right that's 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 the most simple way to do it if you get if you can just locally uh, run that um, and execute Mimikatz on this on this machine. But maybe that's not the case. Maybe you cannot run Mimikatz here um, and we need to do it in a different manner. Uh, so let me clear the screen. I also I also need command prompt as an administrator and let me <coughs> uh, open PowerShell as a local system. So let's say who am I? I'm local system. So we know that agent can retrieve passport, password. Um, so if I become the machine local system, it means um, I'm an agent now. I'm a local machine. And so I can try to retrieve password from Active Directory. Let me do it like this. Um, not, not the password itself, by the way, it will be hash. Um, and so now I extract password hash. What can, I, what can I do next? Yes, pass the hash. And so that account will allow me to run elevate permissions how to do pass the hash you already saw before i don't think i need to uh, show to you again um all right so uh, that's that's two ways how we can um extract um uh, how we can extract credentials um and, and with those credentials we can get access to the main to the, to the main administrate to the main administrator uh, permissions, uh, but wait. But you may say, wait a second. This session is called uh, from on-prem to the cloud, and yes, you use something cloud-based like AD Connect, but you did not show us how to become a cloud administrator. You just said you just you, you just showed how to become local admin. I mean, the main admin uh, based on the AD Connect installation or AD Connect cloud sync, but not how to elevate in the cloud. Yes. Let me show you this. So if you are the main administrator, that means that you can connect to literally any workstation or server um, in your network, right? Probably yes. So, um, and let me jump to demo again. And let me show you one interesting thing. Uh, when you have your cloud environment, you probably have IT professionals, developers, and they use their a tool called AZ CLI. Let me just type it. Let's say AZ account list and let's uh, output as a table. And look at this. So it shows me my subscriptions. All right. Uh, now let's do the same on a different machine. Let me open CMD and let me just, let me even copy, copy and paste. Copy and paste. Fingers crossed it should fail. Please fail. 
Yeah, so it says you must log in to Azure first. But why I, when I open command prompt here, it didn't tell me anything. It just execute the command. Uh, the reason is I already logged in here and the token was cached. Um, and token will be cached here. Uh, if you go to your user profile, there's a folder called that Azure subfolder called that Azure. So if you go there, um, if you take all of those files, you may take few on a few of them, but uh, let me take all of them except config. Um, and let's say I want to add that to archive. Let's keep 7-zip. That's fine. And so here is 7-zip archive. Let me copy this to this workstation. Uh, extract that. Fingers crossed. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So now I can see list of subscriptions. Did I have any uh, MFA prompts? No. Uh, any password prompts? No. So, um, but this account, the account has MFA enabled and of course it has password. But because we use cache token, we don't need to present all of this. We can just steal token, import that to the, uh, to, the different, to, to the different machine, like just copy and paste, and you're all set, and you are in the cloud. Uh, and so now it depends on my permissions. Um, I can do something. So uh, let's do. Let's try to do. Let, let let's try to do something. Let's say I want to. I want to. Uh, create new user, which is called, uh, we'll, uh, I'll call this user Azure Hound. Let's create that. And the password will be quite strong. Don't worry, I'm going to remove this user later on, so you will not be able to use this pass, uh, this, this user. Um, and also let me assign permissions, uh, reader, All right, so now I have user with reader permissions on the subscription level. So what I can do with this user, I want to enumerate subscription and I will use quite well-known tool called Azure Hound. So have you heard about this? Azure, Azure, damn it, um, Azure Hound. So you probably, you probably heard about Bloodhound, which is like, you know, front premises. Azure Hound, that's the cloud version of Bloodhound. All right, so what I can do with this Azure Hound? Um, I, can in, I can enumerate, um, uh, this time I can enumerate Azure. In the same manner, I did that um, in, in on-prem ID with Bloodhound. I can do this, I can do something similar in case of Azure Hound. Let me show you the, this pretty quickly. I'm going to, 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 to find my Azure Hound locally. Let me copy this. And let me let me paste that to desktop. Oh, I, I even have a folder here. Oh, it's already there. Um, so uh, Azure Hound is, is here. Now, what I want to do, I want to navigate to it. And let's say import, uh, import module, Azure Hound, come on, Azure Hound. And look at this, it says that was blocked by your antivirus software. Hmm, so I want to enumerate, but I cannot do it because uh, something, some antivirus doesn't allow me to do it. So what is that? That's called AMSI or MZ shortly. Um, and so it's trying to test uh, the PowerShell commands and PowerShell modules. I'm trying to run from PowerShell, or not only PowerShell, by the way, but this time PowerShell. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I wanna bypass MZ. How can we do it? Um, let me show you real quick. I will not give you all the details about that because uh, that's not the goal of the session. Um, but let me try to show it to you really quickly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open PowerShell, open PowerShell. And let me run a tool called Frida Trace. And what I need to do, I must tell to Frida, 
process, process ID of my PowerShell window. So it's 400, nice. Let's say 400. All right, now if I type command like get service, so that was uh, that 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 run that works fine, and here I can see output from MZ. I mean, I mean um, MSI output, and every time I can see this MSI context. Hmm. Uh, so what this context is all about? Let me copy this, and this time I want to open Win Debug Debugger. All right, and I'm going to attach PowerShell. And so let me just DC into this address. And look at this. So it says, um, here I can see something with title uh, MSI, like a header, not a header, MSI header. So if I, if I remove this header, MSI will stop the work. How can we remove this header? Let me detach that. Uh, how can I remove this header? I can do it through debugger or I can even do it from PowerShell. Let me just uh, type something like this. Um, and now if I try to do, do something like invoke Mimikatz, Mimikatz, uh, it will fail because I don't have this module, but, it, but antivirus will not block it. Yeah, antivirus did not block it. All right, let me try to use this bypass. Um, here. All right, and let's try to import that again. Yay, that's working, that's working. And so now I just need to run um, something like invoke Azure Hound. Oh, sorry. Um, but uh, to do it, I must first connect to Azure AD. So let me say connect Azure AD. Azure Hound uh, and password. Um, so let's keep that first. Now, uh, what I can do, I can say invoke Azure Hound. Um, and now it will start to collect information from uh, my Azure AD, not only Azure AD, from Azure in general, including Azure AD. Of course, it depends on my permissions, but because I delegate permissions to read everything, so it may collect a lot of information. And so the output will be soon here in this folder. Uh, so for the second time, let me jump to my Bloodhound GUI. I already pre-create uh, the Azure Hound file, so let me just say uh, upload data. And here is Azure Hound collection. Um, and now, oh, no. Um, so statistics here is not, not, not very nice if I just close that and run it again. Let's see. Yay, we have, look at this, AZ applications, AZ devices, AZ groups, uh, users, tenant, subscriptions. So we learn a lot. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, we don't have pre-built queries for Azure, so we must run our custom queries. We must run our custom query. So let me run a custom query. Oh, damn it. Let me just first copy it here. Paste here. Um, and now I can see um, like accounts I have in my environment and those accounts. And you may say, wait a second, what the hell is that? Because um, um, quite hard to understand. Yes, unfortunately, currently that is not super friendly, uh, but at least I can build a graph in a similar manner like Bloodhound. Um, there's a very nice article you may find here, um, Azure Hound Cypher Cheat Sheet. And here's a number of those queries that you may try to, and it, it will return some data 
uh, that, that you want. Um, all right, all right. Um, I hope uh, that that um, that demo convinced you a lot to that you should protect your AD Connect server, or if you if you prefer to use Cloud Sync, you need, you must protect Agent, uh, and you should not provide permissions even to middle level administrators to manage those servers because they may easily escalate to the main administrators and from the main administrators to cloud administrators. Um, there, there's a number of ways to achieve that. Like if you, if you have, if you are a cloud administrator, you may use an Intune, you may become the main administrator. So when you have hybrid ID, you must protect both environments pretty well because from one environment, you may get, get access to another, another and vice versa. So um, the last slide here, and it will be slide. So what you can do to protect your to protect your environment better. So if you want to avoid compromising um, AD forced account, first of all, keep in mind. So AD Connect or Cloud Sync, the agent, they are tier zero. So it means that you should not allow like regular administrators um, management AD Connect management. Do not allow administrator, uh, server administrator, to manage agent or AD Connect server because they may have, they may become the main admins quite easily. Um, so, please use principle of these privileges. Um, also, by the way, if you use Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync, it may be considered as a more secure because uh, configuration may be done in the cloud. On premises, you have only agent, but keep in mind. Uh, you should not allow access to uh, this server, add an access to this server to middle level administrators. Uh, when we we're talking about credentials, when I can steal credentials, here, good idea will be use uh, privileged access workstation and uh, run administration and, and administer or run development from the separate workstation, which is not part of those, your, your infrastructure, um, so it, and it will have multiple layers of protection. Uh, MZ bypass. Um, here you may audit PowerShell commands and also use PowerShell constraint language. Of course, it's possible to bypass this language as well, but uh, the more you have, then better. Um, the more secure you are. And enumeration with Azure Hound, in this case, principle of least privileges, that's the best thing you can do because um, to enumerate, to get information from Azure AD, you must run uh, that uh, command with some sort of permissions. So if you don't have those permissions, you will not be able to run it. Uh, all right, so that is about mitigations. So what? please keep in mind, um, um, the configuration AD Connect or even uh, AD Connect nowadays, it's quite typical, quite typical and um, password hashing also enabled. So make sure um, you will not become the victim. Uh, even, even, your ins even your users inside the company, they may do something like this. Maybe they are not malicious. Maybe they are not going to, you know, steal data from the company. But at least maybe they want to have more permissions. Like middle-level admin want to have, like uh, just in case, to have domain admin permissions as well. Um, so make sure that you control access to AD Connect server or maybe Cloud Sync if you're going to use that in the future. Uh, make sure you connect, you, 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 you configure permissions correctly. All right. So I hope that session was informative. And if you have any questions, it's time to ask those questions. Of course, you may ask questions during the session as well. But now because I'm finishing, go ahead and ask them now if you have. If not, thank you anyway. Um, and the best thing I can recommend you is to check your own environment and make sure you don't have those not the best, not the most optimal configurations. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye, enjoy the conference.